Welcome back to Good Morning Connecticut. Well, you know, many of us are maybe thinking about buying a new car, but what can you afford? And is buying better than leasing for you? Well, Roger Cowan has all the answers. He's a financial advisor. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Pleasure to be here. Thank you. So what is the difference of buying versus leasing? For those who don't really know and not really familiar with, with the two terms. Well, basically buying is ownership. You own it, you put down a, a, a substantial upfront deposit, and then you pay it off over time, and then you own it. Leasing is like renting. You're paying rent every month, and then at the end of the term of the lease, the car goes back. Is one better than the other? It really depends. You, you really need to do a study. Sure. Um, so we've brought out these little props. <laughs> I'm not sure if you're big into toy cars. I, I do give them to every child who visits my office. So. You do? Yeah, rum rums do work. Yes. Rum rums. Yeah. Vroom vrooms, right? Okay, so we have some really interesting scenarios for our viewers at home. So let's say a family of four, both husband and wife work. They have two kids, maybe a combined income of $75,000. They just bought a new house. What do you think? I mean, if they wanted to buy this car, what should they do? Well, uh, from the scenario that you described, it sounds to me like they could be cash strapped, not a lot of extra money, family, house payments, things of that nature. That would all lend towards leasing because your, your, your monthly payment is substantially less with leasing. So I would think it, it would lend towards leasing. Great. Uh, and is there a certain range with that $75,000 that they should stick to in terms of how much, like what, what kind of value on the car they should spend? Do you well, think? Uh, I would think that, that like they what would the, need... Should there be their payment plan every month, I guess my question is. Yeah. People who buy a new car basically buy it based on budget. So you really got to go back to your budget and that'll tell you what what you can afford. All right, so let's say those kids are grown up. Yeah. The couple is retired, the kids are out of the home, hopefully they're, uh, they're living out of the house at that point. Um, so they're in their 70s, cash bank, and they drive to Florida once a year. Should they lease or buy? Okay, well, that is a depend question. Mm -hmm. A, they may not wanna take their retirement savings to make that big down payment okay. and, and the sales tax on top of it to own it. So that might lend towards leasing because then they keep their payments low and they also get the warranty and all the new gadgets and all the safety features and, and things of that nature. However, hmm. if they're putting a lot of miles on and they're driving to Florida once or twice a year, that would lend towards purchasing the car because when you lease, you typically lease for a certain number of miles. So if you have further questions, go to my website, cowantaxgroup.com. We, we have a study there. Interesting. Where, yeah. All right. Well, we've got one more scenario for you. What about that single guy who wants to buy something that looks like this? You know what mm. I mean? They want that nice Corvette, maybe surf down the beaches, maybe pick up some ladies. Um, yeah. And he makes about 60000 no family. Um, Maybe, maybe about to get engaged if he's not picking up the ladies. What would you recommend for him? Well, I think he needs a, a, a new brand new red sports car every three years to attract the ladies. And, and if that be the case, and the purpose why he buy that Corvette, why he was considering that Corvette in the first place, that would once again lend towards leasing. Because then at the end of the term, you're in a brand new car and you can have, drive with the latest technology and attract the ladies. It seems like you're a big leasing guy. Well, once again, it really depends on the situation. Right. So really do a study. All right. And so my another question we've got is, you know, if someone buys, what about taking out a loan? Is that a good idea, bad idea? Once again, it depends on interest rates. Interest rates are starting to rise. It also depends on what kind of interest they can earn on their money, which is another double-edged sword because people earn very, very little. Once again, you always need to go back to the basics and conduct a study. When should people buy? People should buy when they plan on owning the car more than seven years. 
people should buy uh, when they don't want to have a payment. So do you recommend people buy maybe like an old clunker versus leasing a new car? Well, once again, Depends when, on the scenario. It, it, I'm getting a theme around here. Well, yes, every situation <laughs> is, is unique and no one situation, no one recommendation fits every, every situation. So uh, if you want a warranty, yes, that would lend towards leasing. If you want a new car every three years, that would lend towards leasing. Okay. If you want to keep your payments low as possible, that would tend to go to leasing. All right. If you want to own something. We have to drive out of this segment. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's time to get the wheel. I got to get on track. Good. Roger Cowan, thank you thank so you. much. So Pleasure. nice to meet you. It was so much fun. Thank All you. All right. Stay with us. We've got more news and weather right after this.